So I recently, just on a short time, was confronted with like that uh, a couple of times this year. And the first time was just, um, I don't know if I told you this already, but I had a, a cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. So my heart just stopped uh, and I basically died. Um, and this happened actually when I was at my girlfriend's place. So luckily she was there. Uh, she noticed that something, because I was starting to make, like, noises. Uh, like, when you don't have any oxygen, your body tr tries to do something. Uh, and uh, I started to, like, sneeze and snore and, and, like... And she noticed, like, okay, something is wrong. And then she saw that I stopped breathing. Was that uh, while why you guys were sleeping? What? <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> What did you say? Was that while you guys were sleeping? or Yes, okay. that was oh. when we sl were sleeping. So, very, very lucky that she actually heard that, because it even happens that, if, if it happens when people sleep that they don't notice it. Uh, and this is like something when it happens out of a hospital, that there's like a, there's a 90% chance that you're going to die. Like, there's a very, very, very slim chance that you're actually going to survive from that. Uh, also, because you don't breathe anymore, so you don't have oxygen oxygen to the brain i'm super lucky that i don't have any neurological problems that my brain is still functioning which is also very very yeah um, yeah very lucky on that uh and now i'm actually living with an icd like it's a machine that they like put it in my chest uh it's it's uh yeah it kind of sticks out of my chest a little bit but it's basically when if, if this would happen again that it just uh uh, would give me a shock uh, to prevent to to prevent it. Yeah. How lo do you know how long it took the ambulance to come? And because they probably needed to ah. um, start reanimating you. Right yeah, yeah. Away, right? So she called the hospital because she explained this to me, uh, and they guided her on the phone how to do CPR. Wow. So she immediately had to do that until ambulance you know arrived uh, but the ambulance apparently was there and also the fire the, uh, how do you call it in english the firefighters department yeah firefighters okay. also had to be there because they had to drag me out of the window uh but uh, they were there like in five minutes like they were like super fast there because this was also in a city so luckily i was in the city i was not sleeping alone because mm -hmm. nine out of ten i'm sleeping alone um so this was like if this had to happen it happened in the best kind of place you wow. could say lots of props to your girlfriend and uh to everyone else yeah yeah crazy um, extremely like my mom like my girlfriend's she's good with my like she will be forever good with my mom like of like my mom is extremely grateful for of course right and and me too right uh, but i can't remember uh, anything of it so th yeah uh, it was definitely m so much more traumatic for them than it was yeah. for me I would say definitely for my girlfriend to see someone dying next to you that you and love and that you just yeah. got to know a couple of months ago a year ago yes that's a thought I can only think about it but I yeah, that, that must be super scary to, to, uh, to, have, uh, to have that happen so yeah uh, very thankful to her uh, of course. Yeah. Um, That's to her. <laughs> <laughs> that is to her. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, yeah. I, I, honestly, I mean, it's been a while that we talked uh, and yeah. I, I did see it on Instagram that you posted a um, photo from uh, the hospital bed, but mm. I thought you just got, because I knew that you had heart disease. I yeah. thought you just got a like a normal um, surgery and and like yeah, just no. a checkup or something. And Jesus, Ooh -hoo. Uh, well, I'm happy that you're still alive, man. <laughs> Me too, and I'm way more happy that I my brain is just functioning okay because yeah. that was the thing that I was the most afraid of. Yeah, uh, yeah I rather would have died than actually would have a, a brain that would have not worked great anymore i mean it's honest. very like, common right that people like they lose their sense of um like whatever like they can't sure. see anymore or 
yeah. um, like for example, whatever their their brain don't uh, their bra- their their brains don't work. Mm-hmm. Right, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, also because it took a l- well, it took definitely a long time for me to feel good again. How uh, how was I, it like? So what what do you remember? You remember going to bed, and then waking up yes. in the hospital ward. I mean, I remember even that day she had to tell me again, and then I was like, ah, yeah, because it was. I go to a co-working place, and there was like an after work, so I just had like a drink. I remember that day. I remember that, and then we went to bed. You know, after that, uh, and I don't, rem- I don't remember anything from that. Even in the hospital, uh, super vague. Um, I remember super little of it all. What's the first thing that you remember, like, precisely? Um, I mean, I, I, you know, once I... Because they also placed me, like, in a coma for a while to just more stabilize me. Uh, once I woke up from that, I would say, you know... I started to have some conscious again and started to remember things. And about the coma, you didn't have any consciousness? Uh, no. And also, okay. there was definitely a lot of times that they had to repeat, or that I repeated myself, that they said, that my girlfriend or my mom, like, okay, you already, you know, said this, like, a couple of times. So, but slowly it started to appear, like, okay, I think I've said this before, you know? It's just your brain is damaged, so it takes time to recover. But, like, fatigue, when you have, like, brain damage, yeah, you feel so tired. I felt tired for months and just just crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, with that also comes, like, a light, well, or light. Uh, when you feel tired, you know, you don't feel like doing anything. You can't do anything. You feel frustrated with yourself because you want to do something, but you can't. So I also started to feel some... Definitely symptoms of, like, depression that I mm-hmm. just felt very, like, fuck this. <laughs> um, but then slowly things got better, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and definitely, that... Sorry. definitely moving in this, you know, during that time, going for walks was a great help for me as well. Mm. Do you feel like, were there things where you were scared of? Like, I, the first thing I thought about now was, like, brain mm-hmm. damage and then... You don't. You don't really know. I mean, even if you go to to the neurologist and they do tests and whatever, and they've done a lot of tests, they can tell after a while. Okay, good. Because like I would have worried about I don't know speech or language in general. Like, did mm-hmm. you have a feeling of like, oh, maybe I can't speak English anymore, or maybe I don't <laughs> know how to drive or whatever? You know. Sure. Um, did you have things like that where you were wondering if you could do that or proceed in something? I don't. I wasn't thinking about a particular thing that I was afraid that I couldn't do anymore. Okay. Just memory, I think, because that was mainly the thing that sort of was, you know, uh, a little bit lost. But my short-term memory was like affected a lot, right? So I couldn't remember things that I did on the moment itself sometimes. But that's kind of normal, to be honest. Uh, but they were able to, you know, they did a lot of neurological tests on me uh and it looks with M- you know with fmri scans and everything looked great everything looked fine you know um yeah and now i just have to go still a lot of times to the hospital they're still doing some other tests on me to just kind of find out more like what exactly happened because even though that i have a heart disease doesn't per se mean Something different happened for it to, 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 to you know, to do this, mm. for my heart to stop. So, uh, yeah, they're trying to figure that a little bit more out now. Um, but okay, yeah, so that was a crazy time. Um, better now. It's still not fun to live with, you know, the ICD and me. Happy, super happy. Oh, yeah, this was maybe my, also a second biggest worry that I had was that I... Because uh, in the beginning, when they placed this in me, I couldn't lift my arm. Uh, and, you know, because they also, it's connected with wires to my heart. Uh, so the wires still had to, like, st- get more combined to my body or something. So I couldn't lift my arm a lot. 
Uh, this, was, this was for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I was so, so afraid that I wouldn't be able to sport anymore, that I wouldn't be able to climb. Mm. I was so afraid that I was a- not able to do that anymore. So I remember the first time that I was allowed to do it and it, I could be, I, I did it, uh, you know, and there was no problems. It was really one of the best days this year of my, of, of, uh, yeah, of this, uh, this year. Um, so happy that it's not preventing me too much mm-hmm. in just living life. Uh, but it's, de- it's noticeable, of course, that it's, yeah. Do you feel like this has impacted your life on a bigger scale? Uh, one thing um, <laughs> that is actually really funny uh, that when I wake up, you know, now, I'm always like, oh, great, I woke up. <laughs> like I <it's>, got it. <laughs> it. Like, it's waking up, even though it's such a thing that everyone does every day, but they take for granted that everyone right uh it just feels like now i'm really grateful that i woke up were you afraid of falling asleep again i mean now there's something that would if this would happen again that would help me yeah uh but of course because it's so fresh still like it's been six months now it's still a little bit of a worry Mm mm-hmm you know um yeah i hope it doesn't happen again you know i've had um a friend that i went to um university with in in berlin and then when i moved to japan he moved Mm. to china around the same time and um we thought about visiting each other and um very very great guy and um for him he he had a cardiac um arrest too Mm. And he was by himself, so he died in China, and um, his family wow. actually never really... I, I don't even know if they got the body, too, um, but, like, they don't know anything Damn. else than he had a cardiac arrest. That's it. Like, they don't know any reasoning. They don't know nothing. Of course, China is very difficult about that, but it was Damn. very, very sudden, and that was the first time for me where I was like, okay... This happens to young people. Like, one of yes. my closest friends, his mother just died... So the same same thing, like she, she sat on the sofa and then a minute later she just died and yeah. she had nothing, like she was a completely healthy human being. So yeah. it's crazy that this still happens, you know, uh, we're very much advanced with medicine and this can still happen. Yeah, because a lot of times they don't even notice that, you know, people with a healthy heart, it can happen to them too. Yeah. And they don't per se know exactly there always a reason why they're still so uncertain about it um yeah it's yeah what about what about like you hear those people or many people say um that they try to live life to the fullest as if every day would be the last Mm -hmm. is that stereotypical or is that a thing that you see as well i already feel like i had an experience in my life way before this where i had that realization to -hmm. more live life and this has more to do with losing my dad Mm -hmm. um i already had some reminders before this in my life to uh to do that to live life more to the fullest um but of course you know sometimes you have tasks to do in your day that have has to be done so you can't always do the craziest thing or something but it's more about just being grateful i think uh, and like I said earlier in our talk, uh, that life for me is about just having experiences, a lot of experiences. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that definitely has actually started because of my dad, I think, mm-hmm. to just have a lot of experiences in life. Bad ones or good ones. Uh, yeah. Um, but of course, it wakes you up in a certain way. You know, that's definitely Quite literally. true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Um,